Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Gray. My name is Lou Howard, and this is Lynn Chen, and we're two of the nurses that will be taking care of you today. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Gray. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you as well. Mr. Gray, we're going to go over a few safety checks with you before we take you into the OR. If you'd like to follow along, here is our checklist poster. Okay. Mr. Gray, I'm going to start by asking you your name and your date of birth. Stuart Allen Gray. I was born November 11th, 1971. November 11th, 1971. Yes, that's correct. Mr. Gray, can you show us where you're having your surgery today? Yeah, it's uh, right here on my right side. Does the consent say right inguinal hernia with mesh? Yes, right inguinal hernia with mesh. Mr. Gray, did uh, Dr. Anderson, did he mark your right side with his initials? Yeah, right here on my right side. Okay, for your safety, we're going to have to check to see where he marked. Can you show me his initials? Sure. All right, Mr. Gray, when we head into the OR, we're going to ask you to move to the table and lay on your back. So Lynn, we'll have to position him with his right groin exposed. Mr. Gray, do you have any known allergies? Yes, I'm allergic to amoxicillin, and the doctor told me never to take it again. Right, on? Yes, he's not supposed to have any penicillin-type medicines. Can you tell me what happened when you last took it? I broke out in hives, and my lips swelled up. Yeah, it was kind of scary. He's going to need a different antibiotic than the one that Dr. Anderson normally uses. Uh, we'll probably need to use clindamycin. I agree. We'll talk to Dr. Anderson. Thank you for telling us that, Mr. and Mrs. Gray. Um, clindamycin is a different type of antibiotic that we use when patients are allergic to the penicillin-type medications. We'll make sure that he doesn't receive anything like amoxicillin. Good. Thanks for asking us about that. I don't want to see that kind of reaction ever again. Now, your records indicate that you weigh 100 kilograms, which is about 220 pounds. Is that correct, sir? I suppose. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mr. Gray. Uh, please feel free to speak up whenever you have any questions. I don't. Um, honey, do you have any questions? Oh, will he need to keep taking that antibiotic after we go home? That's a good question, Mrs. Gray. Usually, patients do not need to keep taking the antibiotic at home after this type of procedure. I'll tell Dr. Anderson that you asked me that, and he'll be sure to answer it for you. Please feel free to speak up and ask him yourself when he comes to visit you in the post-op recovery area. And after that, if you have any other questions, just write them down and you can remember to ask him everything. That's a great idea. I'll do that. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Gray, we're just going to step over here for a few minutes to finish our checklist. Okay, Lynn, do you have the implants available in the OR? Yes, we set aside the mesh that Dr. Anderson requested and it's already in the operating room. Okay, um, has he requested any images of Mr. Gray? No, we don't need any images for his case. Uh, Mr. Gray is at a low risk for DVT and the procedure should be under one hour so we shouldn't need any warmers. Okay, great. The anesthesia safety check has been completed. Uh, Mr. Gray's case will be done with a local anesthetic and sedation, and I don't anticipate any airway or aspiration issues. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and make note that there has not been a change in Mr. Gray's cardiac and respiratory history. Okay. The OR is all set. Okay, we're ready. Mr. Gray, are you ready to go to the OR? As ready as I'll ever be. Okay, honey. I'll be waiting for you in the recovery room. Oh, Lynn, can you go ahead and page Dr. Anderson, please, and uh, see if he agrees with giving Mr. Gray the clindamycin for this procedure? Mm -hmm. And once we hear back from him, I will start the antibiotics. Okay. 